What are we gonna do? We're gonna talk. We're gonna have a com- <laughs> this is a conversational episode. Boo. These might do well because you can't have conversations during live streams because there's chat up and you're like a dog and there's a squirrel around. We are going to talk today about about anti-counterfeit technology. Technology. Dude, there we go. A-T- I got you. A- nope. A- A-C-T. ACT. Say at. And I did incredibly well on my ACT. So here we are. So something was brought to our attention by Brandon Spragu himself, basically. It also is kind of on the internet, kind of not. But what's happening is Buffalo Trace is trying to navigate the waters of, of getting rid of or, or slowing down, counterfeiting, stealing, faking bottles of whiskey. Yes. Right. So in the years past, there was a guy that got caught counterfeiting like Pappies and mm-hmm. BTAC and stuff like that. And probably tons and, of Weller yeah. or whatever. And they were like, you can't fake the, the seal on it which he pretty much got the labels. He was employee of Buffalo Trace, mm-hmm. bought the labels and then used them himself to like put it over the top. And people, that was what we're saying. People couldn't be faked was the seal. And we know for a fact on secondary, people sell fakes. We know for yeah. a fact, and secondary is a thing that just currently exists. And there's in theory right now, nothing anyone's really doing about it like a ton. Cause the big thing was like, oh, let me see the laser code. But people were saying right. that the laser code comes down to like a, a minute type deal okay. that several bottles could have the exact same laser code because of oh. when they were like thrown through. I didn't know that. And on top of that, a guy got caught. He was on Bourbon Pursuit podcast, but a guy got caught filling, like using Weller Special Reserve yep. and filling up bottles and then resealing them and labeling them and doing all this stuff. It makes and then sense. Selling them on secondary. And then people open it and they're like, oh, it tastes like a Weller. You know what I mean? Yeah, that, that, I mean, I would guess that's a uh, lot B, you know? Right, yeah. Blue color. So Buffalo Trace being one of the most prominent lines or, or Sazerac whiskey yeah. being one of the most prominent whiskeys on secondary, there was, a, there was a statement made by them that they had hired lawyers and spent a lot of money trying to shut down secondary markets. That's five years ago. A ton, no, a ton of Facebook secondary markets got shut down for a long time. A lot of time, yeah. But now it seems like the shutting down of secondary markets has slowed down drastically. Yeah. It seems they, like now they, there's just They tried to take a step off. back. They were yeah. like, hey, we know we can't control what's out there because of the secondary market. We can control our own product though. So what we're talking about today is their own product changing. Right. A little bit. Like, comment, subscribe. Leave Do that. a comment in the description below. There are seemingly, Buffalo Trace is seemingly taking bottles. Let's pretend that this is a BTAC bottle for a moment. Because this would have had, I didn't want to get up. This would have had foil on top of it before it was open. Very true. If this were a Thomas H. Handy bottle, in theory. Yes. And you had it was unopened. In theory, they have put an NFC chip underneath the foil on yep. the top. And so that it knows when it's unopened and it knows when it's open. So if I took my phone here and I had this little app and I set it on top and I was like, what happened here? It would tell me if it was opened or not, or if it was punctured. So it would be able to tell if a, a, a hole came through the top or if the seal was broken and it would let you know that you're getting a counterfeit product. That something's been screwed with like, basically. Yeah. And so then in theory, you wouldn't buy it or you'd be able to report it. I think yeah. that a lot of this comes from, um, I think it was E.H. Taylor four grains or barrel proof. Yeah, there were there was a four grain sitting in a shop in New York. Recently. That was counterfeit. Re- they very know. recent. This they is 2020. Know. Yeah. Um, or 2021. Come to find out after mm. that thing happened with the bottle in the store, they had found thousands of counterfeit four grains. Shocker. So people are still right now, this is like literally six months ago at the, at, from, from now, yep. but people are still counterfeiting bottles because there's still a lot of money to be made on Sazerac's line of whiskey. Bourbon's eye. I'll put the article up that we were reading this from, but it seems like people have gotten BTAC from this year that don't have the NFC. Yeah, so like what we said earlier, it's beta testing, I think. They're literally throwing them out there on some of the bottles and seeing how it goes. I, I, like, I don't know the downside, realistically. If it goes money. any... Well, I mean, it's going to cost more. And no. they'll definitely pass that off to us. They're not going to eat that They cost. won't. Here's the, here's the... Oh, Sazerac will make you pay an extra $10? Well, no, no, no. This is a conversation. Like, uh, well, this would be like a different episode. But the problem is, is we go through this three-tier stupid alcohol system yep. where there's the people who make it and then the distributors in the store. Yep. So the problem is, is like Buffalo Trace still has Thomas H. Chandy at 100, but the store has it at 500 because secondary went up. Yep. So the store gets all the money. So like Buffalo Trace... I, Buffalo Trace weirdly... I say that honestly, weirdly has not raised BTAC prices in a thousand years. Because they don't have to. 
but they've done it on Pappy every year almost, which is interesting. Now, here's the thing. The NFC tags, I'm sure because they can buy so many time. Yeah. Aren't, I, there's a company who makes their foil for them. Run it. They could probably buy so many that they're probably pennies each, I'd imagine. I mean, when it comes to the BTEC line, you're looking at a very limited run that they have to buy for. Sure. So if they're only doing it for that, like sure. sub 50,000 well, a year. It, they could do it with anything with foil on it, right? So they stack can. juniors, yeah. BTACs, pappies. How much? They, do? I'm sure they're doing pappies if they're doing BTACs. <laughs> yeah. Pappies are I, I don't know sure, the numbers right? on those, but here's I would say 50,000 miles a year. Here's the interesting. No, no, they did. They did 50,000 stag 20 in 2020. 50,000 stags. Not that juniors. That real. Yeah. They're, stag yields are normally 40 to 60,000. <laughs> It seems like so much. much. Still can't find. Them. Here's the thing. Worth Here's it. what's interesting. I do like the attempt. It's I think worth the attempt's it. worth it for for a PR standard that you're throwing out there. That mm-hmm. we're like, hey, we're really trying. Yep. You are going to offset your cost on that. And I think it becomes one of these things where, if realistically, you start pushing this out to Stag Juniors, Pappies, it's on all the your whole tags. It's on. Now, are you talking like the whole line or just limited line? Like, well, here's things the thing. that Some people things really don't have are secondary, on secondary, right? Yeah. But here's the other problem. Some of their Benchmark secondary doesn't bottles doesn't have secondary. Some of their secondary bottles don't have foil. True. No E. H. Taylor has foil. No. And that's one of you their the biggest strip. lines. You can get one on a strip, I bet. One of their uh their wellers are all Oh, their wellers are foiled now because they switched they to are. corks. Yep. So they can do their weller line. So I guess realistically, this is gonna cover they can't do all their mash bill twos, but they can do El- Elmer. Rocket wouldn't have it. Neither would Blands. Yeah. Now here's the thing. This the weird part about this is it doesn't benefit them almost at all. No. Because it's very targeted. They're, well, they're not making just the counterfeits. Just counterfeits. Yeah. They're not shutting down the secondary. Right. Because if you throw an NFC up there and you go, oh, it's good, people will still pay still money for it. selling it, yeah. That's not going to change that price at all. Right. The only thing that it impacts is counterfeits. Which is weird because they clearly know. And now it does help them track, right? Yeah. Helps them track where their whiskey's at. Like, they can track realistically when it's opened <clears> at that point. You ain't shutting down the secondary. But... The weird thing is, is the counterfeits aren't making Buffalo Trace any money. No, they're making distribute or they're making stores that are counterfeiting money. Mm-hmm. They're making the person counterfeiting money on secondary. Yeah, it now they're spending. It protects money. their name though it, a little bit. Yeah, yeah, that's true. It comes back to them protecting their name of the product that's in the bottle. I completely agree, but it does feel almost. It feels a little bit not selfish. It's slightly selfless. Yeah, it protects because they're the, consumer, the cost on it. Yeah. Right? They're eating the cost. It protects the consumer. Here's mm-hmm. the thing. If I'm willing to buy bottles of George C. Stegg and Thomas H. Handy and all these on secondary anyways, yeah. I clearly don't care how much they cost. No. Right? So I can just as easy go to a store charging those prices and buy the same bottle. 100%. Right? So the problem. So I think it's actually really cool because this I is hate it. Yeah. almost only for the consumer. Almost. I like it. I like the move. I hope that it's real. Yes. We're not 100% sure that it's real. I We've only seen like one or two articles. Everything that we've seen is in this video and you have now seen. Yeah. So I don't know. I think that it should, if this like is real, it should have attention. I like to push. Yep. Because if too. making yeah. this the new standard, if like yes. they're on the cutting yeah. edge of this, them cutting a new standard for the industry yeah. and uh, how minute the increase of cost would be for them would just, it would kind of decimate a little bit of secondary. In the fact that, like, how many fakes there are is ridiculous. Oh, that's interesting. If it goes across every brand. So there'll be less bottles. In yeah. Theory. You go across every brand mm. that has fakes done, not just Buffalo sure. Trace. There are a lot. People are remelting wax and For stuff sure, like that. For sure, without a doubt. Mictors. Oh, yeah. Mictors is another Easy. big one. Yeah. yeah. So if you go across the industry and everyone adopts this, the NFCs, and you start going through them, like, it's super, like, tamper-resistant. It'll change secondary a lot. You know what I wonder? Here's the only, like the other, the flip side of the coin though, is, or does it bolster secondary because everybody's confident that they're not getting ripped off? I know for a fact I'm we're still asking for references. I'm not just right your for shit. sure. You can still get a lot the guy of fake that was references. On yeah, Pursuit had literally hundreds of references. I love the idea of let's figure out a way to make this a huge pain in the ass. So it's not worth you getting a hundred extra dollars from a bottle of whiskey, right? Because most bottles of whiskey that are allocated, you go and buy not at retail anymore. Yeah. So most of them that you're flipping, you bought Elmer for 200 and you flipped it for 400. Is all of this work now, if it is NFC (sighs) worth 200 bucks? Okay, socialist. (laughs) Oh, that was the one thing we didn't talk about. The, um, how they know when you open it is 
when you pull the tag the tear it actually rips the nfc like down the side yeah. so then it's aware that it has been torn there if you guys like this type of content let us know in the comments below yeah. it was something that like literally has not been talked about and if it is real i in theory i so we hope because really, we made a whole video on it i really think buffalo trace should like be praised for it if i'm being completely honest they're the first people to take a step in that direction um but yeah so we, lo we love you guys we appreciate the hell out of you guys see you on monday Man, friday shit we'll see you tomorrow <laughs>